What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope all's good wherever you are. In this video, we're going to watch Constantin Kissin annihilate some woke SJWs. Some of these people, I swear, they don't hear themselves talk. Or fact and reason has just completely gone out the window. Let's get into it. I'll give you my thoughts on the back end of the clip. Here's the clip. What was your objection to it, Shola? Uh, obviously, lots of people lot, uh, saying, you know, it was it was racist, even though he didn't say London is no longer white. When he right. said London is no longer English, people are reading into that that he meant it's not white enough. All right, let me first of all start by saying that with age, you come wisdom, but clearly with John Cleese, it passed him by. <laughs> the bottom line is this. Re re I mean, referring to UK cities or London as non-English is a key point here. Britishness is not determined by the colour of our skin. I am British. I'm not less British than John Cleese because I'm black. The Britishness that we experience is the... Uh, it, it's not segregation. It's all about integration. It's not exclusion. It's about inclusion. And what is it about Britishness that is not represented in any of our UK cities? Is it our government institutions? Is it our values? Is it our love of football? Is it the food or the royal family? All of that is celebrated. So how are we not... English. Mm. So by referring to it as not English, you have to ask him, what do you mean by not English? Well, he does go on to clarify, and just to say at the end of it, he was making a point about Brexit, wasn't he? Because he's a Brexiteer, mm. and at the end of it, he said, it's also worth noting that London was one of the most remain places, i.e. But what he's suggesting is not a well, very English thing to do. Well, he went on to say, it's didn't ignorant. he? It's he bizarre, went against some of the criticism and he said, uh, he said actually, it's, it's not about racism, it's about culturalism. And he mm. said that it's not as polite as it was, humorous, it's not as friendly as it was, those sorts of things that is what he was saying. That is such nonsense. This is a man who, who left the UK because it's full of foreigners and moved to a foreign country. Mm. To become an immigrant, please, let's not take him seriously. Mm. What's your view? Well, that particular point is a bit difficult to defend, I agree. But I think in terms of the, the racism issue, I don't see how this has anything to do with race. Look at the England football team, it's full of black players. No one would question the Englishness, right? They're English. Uh, it's not about race. What he's talking about, I think, is that look at London. 42% of people who live in London are, like me, foreign-born, right? So there's a very significant immigrant population in London. Obviously, if you have half of a city, essentially, that are people who are first-generation immigrants, that is going to make it less of the local culture. No, no, it's just a fact no, of life, isn't no, it? No, the fact of that is, mm. and you're absolutely right, but the fact of that is that the city has changed. That's fine, it's For changed. But to years. say it's become less English is ridiculous. Either it's, it's okay. a stupid comment so let me or give it's a racist example. comment. Well, no, it's not... Well, it's not first of all, it's racist. nothing to do with race. But look at, this, look at it like this. If 50% of the people who lived in London were Scottish, mm. would we be OK to say that it's less English than it was when it was 10%? We would say it would is that be British. Okay? Well, no, but answer this question. Would it be OK or not? Would it be OK? I'm sorry, hang on, get my head around that. If 50% of the people who lived in London mm. were Scottish, yes. would it be OK to say that London has become less English than it was when 10% of the people who lived in London were Scottish? Well, if they were Scottish, yeah. Right, but, but, so what's the difference? But the, but There's the, no difference. He's talking about difference. immigrants. But no, he's talking about immigrants. But you, but that so it's nothing to do with race. Do you, do, you not, do, you not do you not consider yourself as English? No. Why is that? Because I'm British. I'm, so, so when, I'm a British So when you go person. to Scotland, if you go to Scotland, so where are you where have you come from? What do you say? Well, I'd say I live in London. I'm originally from but, Russia. But, but <laughs> why can't you it's say I'm from England? It's because why? I'm not from England. But I wasn't you are. I, no, I'm not. I wasn't born here. I didn't grow up here. I came here when, when I was When you're 13. in Scotland and, and, there's, and, and, and you're on the road and there's, and there's an arrow pointed towards England, do you not go that direction? Because that's where you're from, England. So why I'm not can't from you just... England. I wasn't born here. I, I didn't but, grow up here. But you just said you're from... Are you from London? No. But where are you? So, so, so I live in London. Right. I live just outside of London, in fact. Right. But I, I'm originally. It's complicated. Right. right. People no, can have. You're making it complicated. No, no, no. You're yeah, making no. it complicated. Let me just. No, 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 sorry. I let me just make this one point. Let me make this one point. I am British. I was born here. Mm. So if he does not mm. self-identify as British, mm. you're not. You're no, actually, I'm British, but I'm no, not no, English. But That's the difference. Let's just bring in Monty here. Mark, what do you make of it? Because you've got an interesting view on. This is a nostalgic tweet from John Cleese and not a not an inherently racist one. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a racist tweet. Um, I think he's talking about his childhood days, you know, in the 40s, um, 30s, 40s, 60s, you know. Yeah, 40s, yeah, yeah, 50s. when he was younger, yeah. Yeah, younger days, how England was and how, how England has changed 
to now. But he doesn't but, like he, the change. But, he, 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 but hang on, he hasn't said changed. I'm but it's sorry, a fact, I'm it? sorry. Yeah, but, yeah, no, that's fine. That, can we go back but it hasn't become less years. English. Yeah, it has. Can, can we please go back hundreds has. of years yeah. to, I don't know, the Vikings coming? Exactly. To, I don't know, shipping black yeah. people during the slave trade? I don't know, during the time the British was, Empire was colonized saying, other countries? Yeah. It, it has not been pure English white skin But no one's talking about being white. You've made it about race. No, no, no. He didn't say anything. Can I just say what he didn't say anything about race. Let me just talk about did not say he not was talking about English. About well, let me say exactly what, about English what he people. said. Yeah. His second people. tweet, so he made this first one yeah. and then lots and lots and lots of people went against me. And then he said, I suspect I should apologise for my affection for the Englishness of my upbringing, but in some ways, in some ways, I found it calmer, more polite, more humorous, less tabloid and less money-oriented oh, than the one that is replacing it. Right. Now, the thing is, if you... you like, can't argue I'm with not that, a Londoner, I'm from the North West. <laughs> but people will say, you know, all the money that has driven up prices in London that means people can't live in London anymore, even if they want to. It's because there's Russian money here, there's Arab money here, but that's... It's the foreign investment in London. On behalf of all driven. Russians, I'm deeply looking. offended no, 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 by this. <laughs> deeply offended. No, 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 but what I'm saying <laughs> is he's targeting the immigrants. Even with his explanation, he's targeting right. people. He's saying that you are not English. All of us have been here way longer he before John. Of people. course, he's, he's talking about he's English talking people. About but you could make those about people. But you he's could not make... talking about values. He's not talking about culture. He's no. talking about people, and that means it's got racist no. connotations. He didn't say anything it's about bigoted. people. It's bigoted. Of course, he did. He, he, he it's said not that the city, English. the city oh, has it's, become uh, less English. That's what I'm saying. I just think it's okay. not as polite. I'm sorry. So immigrants are not polite. What the heck? I just I think you could probably say it's about lots of cosmopolitan cities in Britain and across the world. That's the only thing. I don't know why. You know. Making my point for yeah. me is we have lots of immigrants. So he's not racist, just a very naughty boy. <laughs> well, it's very good. Yeah, if you're from any other country in the world, you're allowed to say, oh, I, I'm proud of my blackness. I'm proud to be Asian. But if you say you're proud to be white for some reason, that's a bad thing. If you're proud to be a Westerner, that's a bad thing. If you're proud of Western values, only the values that have given people the biggest, best free market alive, some of the best cultural thinkers in the world have been Western. But yeah, it's supposed to be a bad thing. The same way you can say you're proud of your blackness. But if you say you're proud of your whiteness, which is something ludicrous anyway, to be proud of your color of your skin, you had nothing to do with it, just an accident by birth. But you can say one, but you can't say the other. And the tweet that John Cleese tweeted, look, he's absolutely right. Have you seen the amount of knife crimes in London, in England as a whole? Do you think those are being committed by English-born white people? No, they're not. The mass movement of people going into Europe has been going on since... I guess you could say the end of the Second World War was when it really started to ramp up. But it sped up massively. And there was a big crisis in 2015. More than a million migrants, more than a million, poured into Europe from mostly the Middle East, Africa, Asia. That's why it's such a big deal. What happened to Europe is what's happening to the United States right now. You're committing the suicide of a nation. That's like self-annihilation of a culture. That's what that is. You're not going to know who you are the same way that Europeans... Have in a big way, lost their identity. All these millions of people that poured into Europe, we'll stick to England here, they were encouraged to come, mostly from the Middle East again and from Africa to become temporary workers, but nobody expected them to stay. But what do you think they're going to do? You think they're going to go back to economic disparity, to a war-torn country, or they're going to live in one of the best, freest countries in the world. People forget about this, that Western countries, England, the US, Canada, do more humanitarian aid and to help refugees in other countries than any other countries. But people don't like to talk about that. All they see when John Cleese tweets is, oh, an old white man. Everything is about race for these people, these race baiters. You look at just, like, I'll go back to 2015, Sweden and Germany added 2% of their population in one single year. By 2017, the most popular boy's name in the United Kingdom was Mohammed. You don't think that changes a society? Germany is a great example. Every day, if you look at the news in Germany, almost daily, there's an undocumented migrant killing someone or stabbing someone. Literally, almost daily. A few years ago, the German government, there's a town called Kessel in Germany, and this town was going to get 800 new immigrants in a small town. And they were concerned of the effects of this. Just look at what happened in Lampedusa recently. You can barely recognize that as an Italian town. It's full of African migrants. People were concerned at the time. Their political representative held a rally. People could you know, voice their concern. But what they were pretty much told is, regardless of their objections that any of these citizens had, the immigrants were going to come and they were going to be there. And if the citizens, the German-born citizens, didn't like it, they were free to leave Germany. Look at the condition of France right now all the Muslim crime that's happening there. 
And I know what you're going to say, you're going to say, listen, white people, in this case, French people or English people, Americans, Canadians commit crimes also. This is true. So why are we importing the criminals of other countries? We have enough of that already, committed by our own people. We have a crazy declining birth rate in Western countries. The birth rate in the Muslim community is about five times what ours is. So what do you think is going to happen in, in 10 years, 20 years? Even Jimmy Fallon on his show, they had a segment where he opened up the show and he said, hey, according to the census, I forget what year it was, say 2018, I think it was, this is the first time that white people have seen a significant decline in America. And people cheered at this. This was a good thing. Less white. Now, you're going to tell me that John Cleese, a, a white man, an older white man, is going to feel comfortable in a society that thinks this way of him. They want less of his type of people there. You would never be able to say that, though, about any other culture. But you can say it about white people. These are the same people that, that push critical race theory. It's reverse white supremacist, and all of it is wrong. Anyways. Hope you, all enjoyed, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Help it grow. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.